Ugh, the good old days of Minecraft multiplayer, am I right? People were so eager to show the world their building skills as they made the coolest things. Houses, pixel art, recreations from places from their favorite shows or games, you name it. Minecraft multiplayer perfectly captured everyone's individuality. For example, it was always fascinating to me to see how people would build. You can log onto a hundred servers, explore the entire map, and never see the same house twice. It's beautiful. And don't even get me started on Redstone, which is basically a game of its own. Man, how important important it was to always have at least one redstone expert in your friend group. They always made the mundane so colorful with their systems. Don't want to sort your items? Ask redstone guy. Don't want to do all the farming by hand? Ask redstone guy. Want a cool automated door in your base for no reason? Redstone guy, you get the gist. Older Minecraft servers would just radiate uniqueness and individuality, and all that was needed was for the players to just play like they wanted to. It cultivated itself. It was truly a magical time, and if only I realized it back then, but... Oh well, I already made a video on that, so uh, check it out. Alright peeps, wipe your tears, posture up, take off your socks, and put this motherfucker on full screen because we're diving deep today. What you Multiplayer in today's day and age is all about grinding the same damn minigame, doing the same damn shit, getting the exact same satisfaction repeatedly. Fucking depressing. But if that's your cup of tea, for some reason, check out these tutorials I made. <laughs> Two blocks in 20 seconds, I'm hot. So basically, if your ideal use of precious free time in your younger years looks like this... We cannot communicate on the same level. I find such shenanigans to be undeserving of my time. Pathetic, if you will. But I did not gather all of you here today to experience discrimination. Don't worry, I will now explain... <laughs> Allow me to explain to you how to have fun on the most popular types of Minecraft servers without tainting you with my personal opinions and pickles. Starting off with proper etiquette. Minecraft is an open world game. So in order to truly adhere to this openness, servers should tolerate the unholy things that get produced by my index fingers when I get fairly and squarely outmatched in a PvP based minigame. We've all heard of this new profanity filter in the most recent Minecraft update, which is a change that has been thoroughly enjoyed and appreciated by a whopping zero people all around the world. However, this filter does not work for older versions, so you can avoid this bullshit by simply playing on servers that don't require the latest update. Speaking of, let's cover some of these minigames. Bed Wars, Sky Wars, Hunger Games, Cops and Robbers, Illegal Fight Clubs, Kid PvP, they're all one and the same. They get released, people play the game, it is fun, people get good, this but replace money with kills and wins, game is no more fun. If you're not fucking incredible or willing to pay, these game modes are usually not worth it. But if you can play 10 games in a row and be completely fine knowing you will not even get a whiff of victory, Hey, go ahead. Hunger Games was fun though, as people would start with nothing every time and just get thrown into the deep. But since people would rather have this, we don't have OG Hunger Games anymore. You see this? It was beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's astonishing. And, and now, now we have this? What the fuck happened? Now, how do you still have fun even with all this in mind? It's actually quite simple. Let's say in this case, you're on Hypixel. You gather a bunch of friends, you get into a call, you create a party, you select a minigame, and then you just do something else. Bowling, for example, or mini golf. The trick here is to actually not play any of the minigames on Hypixel, but to make the active switch from server to real life. This way you stimulate your awareness of how hitting strikes and little kits with golf clubs is actually way more fun than anything similar to this. Oh my god. Faction servers. First thing to make sure when playing, uh, do not play update 1.19.1. I am a huge fan of faction servers, or at least what they used to be. Now, I don't want to be that guy again, but I literally made a whole video on this, so uh, check it out. So, as it turns out, yes, I am indeed that guy. If you do manage to find a non-pay-to-win faction server with a healthy economy, uh, send me the IP. These days, you're honestly better off stealing your Minister of Finance's national credit card details, because... God damn. Survival servers. First thing you do when you enter a survival server is do not play the latest version of Minecraft. Man, survival servers are a hit or miss by the book. You can either end up in the coolest servers with a perfect amount of plugins, a friendly community, and a healthy economy, or, or this. A beat-down borehole that only spouts Flint, Michigan water. Here's a pro tip. I like to ask this simple question when I join a server. Does anyone here play Osu or Danganronpa? If yes, I leave. If no, I stay. But I, for one, am not that trusting. See, you never know if someone is either a closeted Osu slash Danganronpa player or simply pleads the fifth. So I check on the players personally to make sure I am not getting boofed.
Hey, do you play Osu or Dungarumpa? What, what? What do you mean? You play Osu or Dungarumpa? Answer me! Are mean? the games on your PC? I don't know! Answer my fucking questions! Do you have Osu or Dungarumpa on your computer? You Answer the fucking question! <laughs> also, when I see people at spawn just marinating by themselves, I get suspicious. Seriously, what are you doing here? Dripped out of your mind, walking aimlessly from one end of spawn to another. It's like watching a baseball game. Snap back to profanity. Survival servers have a big diversion in place player sensitivity. In some servers, a simple shit is enough for some admins to not only ban you, but also curse you and your descendants for eternity. Now to have fun on these servers, whether good or bad, you must always dare to go against the flow a little bit. If you notice there is an abundance of shops, introduce door-to-door -door trading to spice things up. Hey, 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 I've got five bones, you're gonna give me a stack of bread for it. Drop the fucking bread! Drop the fucking bread on the floor! Drop the fucking bread on the floor! Uh-huh. If the server is pretty much peaceful, but PvP is enabled, I want you to release that primal urge to game and anything that crosses your path. Hey, what's up, dude? What? Why are you hitting me? Stop! Stop hitting me! Dude. And make sure to swear, or even throw a tantrum when necessary. If this is against the server rules and you are getting threatened with a ban, strike back with a clever response. A counterattack, if you must. But there is yet another type of survival server, one that gives you a little more freedom, so to say. Realms! There is not a single thing in this world as short-spanned and predictable as a realm server. On my life, it's the same every single time. Excited to play with friends, you make a realm. Everyone picks their spot to build, people work together to shape a nice little town, you log off for 30 minutes to get some food, and the server is now a full-fledged metropolis. You couldn't find a single block of coal in the 300 kilometer radius if you tried, and if you accidentally take a little bit of food for someone's chest because you don't have anything, you will be in a big load of trouble. A misadventure, if you will. Buenos noches, fuck boy. Bah. Ever heard of the Stanford Prison Experiment? People get a little taste of what it's like to beat their friends without any chance of repercussions, and it consumes them. All right. See you in six months. Or never, since it's only available from version 1.19 and up, and uh, don't give Microsoft any money for filtering what you do in your private worlds that you bought from them in an already purchased game. Funny Joe Rice fact number five. This just in. Microsoft has been using Minecraft as a Peggy newborn money grab. Minecoins? Global bans? Really? In conclusion, shit's whack. Roleplay servers. I have never played anything like Pokecraft, Digicraft, GTA kind of stuff, or anything that simulates existing games and movies, let alone real world RP. I, I have no kind words for this. But I'm a huge fan of Windcraft, a magical world of wonders that honestly can be explained within the length I want this video to be. Some quick pro tips though, uh, just ignore every tool who wants to duel and stay away from dodgy trades. Windcraft always gives me a huge ego boost every time I see someone's character hit maximum level, as I, for one, cannot imagine lacking vitamin D to such an extent. I simply smile and carry on. Anyway, my assassin just hit level 60 and I will all the fucking smoke. Meet me at Deadlust, I'm there. One thing that's always funny to me is when you see that you missed out on an old quest and you get to see the dungeon boss just do his whole monologue just to get fucking disintegrated with a single punch. You fool! You dare enter these sewers, human. These pipes once hit the civilians of Ragni during raids. No, it just holds corpses. The forces of the humans could not save me when I hit here. Now they can't save you either. You persist through the sludge, now you will join me like the rest- DAMN! Prison servers. <sighs> SMPs, Lamemberg, Lifesteal, Funny Picture Paintings, 11 year old kids, and a whole bunch of profanity rules. Dedicated SMP servers have unlocked the achievement of simultaneously being one of the best and worst things to ever happen to online Minecraft. Man, the amount of times I've found a promising SMP only to hear this. Lately. Ah, man, every time I see Joe Biden speak, I feel so glad that there's an ocean between us. How do you fun on SMPs? Uh, you don't. You really don't. Make one with your friends, but then that's basically the same realm story. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Go out there, have fun on any version below 1.19.1, and let me know how it went. See you guys later.